Delegate Price. Madam Speaker, I rise for a motion, and I'd like to speak to the motion. Delegate Price, you have the floor. Thank you. Madam Speaker and fellow members, the Newport News community was rocked on Thursday night upon hearing that one of Newport News's finest had been killed in the line of duty. Newport News Police Department's officer, Katie Tyne, loved and worked in our community. She represented our department well, and she attended community events and built genuine relationships in the community, especially with our youth. Madam Speaker, she even coached a girls basketball team in her spare time. Chief Drew recounts that when Officer Tyne graduated, he was handing her her badge as he does with all graduates and paused to say a few words. He said to her that times have changed and communities expect more from our officers. He said, I need you to help me. There's a community out there waiting on you to change things. Then he asked, are you ready for this? He says that she smiled at him and looked him square in the face and said, yes, sir, I am. And she was. For her short tenure on the force, she worked to make Newport News even better, and she was just getting started. As a Navy veteran and mother, she was used to challenges. Officer Katie handled the challenges on the force with compassion and empathy, making encounters with her very memorable. On Saturday, the community gathered for a processional as her body was taken to the funeral home. People lined the streets in Norfolk where the journey began and at the South Precinct where she worked and at the funeral home upon their arrival. Many of your police departments participated in that processional along with the state police, rallying together to show our support and unity as we, as we all grieve this loss. Officer Katie will be remembered for her work ethic by her colleagues, her love and encouragement by her basketball team, and by her smile by all who met her. And as her chief and the community would describe her, she was a model officer and a hero. On behalf of Senators Locke and Mason, Delegates Mullen and, si and Simons, we ask that you keep her family, including her daughter, the Newport News Police Department, and our entire community lifted up as we grieve this huge loss of Officer Katie. And for my motion, Madam Speaker, I move that when the House adjourns today, that we do so in the memory of Newport News Police Officer Katie Tyne. Delegate Price moves that when the House adjourn today, it adjourn in the honor and memory of Officer Katie Tyne. Those in favor of the motion shall rise. The motion is agreed to.